Good morning. Tickets for Shakespeare's Scottish tragedy do not go on sale before noon, though you are smart to queue up early. Tickets are vanishing nearly as fast as the latest edition of the Strand magazine, Dr. Watson. Delighted. This is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, and of course we have the honor of addressing the divine, <laughs> Ellen Terry. You're too kind. But tell me, my dear Watson, is the game afoot? Yes. Oh, how delicious. There was a dark-haired, bearded gentleman here a moment ago. I believe he's gone upon my errand. Oh, you've met Mama. And I presume that you're here to see the crowd? The crowd? Oh, you must forgive me, my penchant for nicknames. The crowd says I'm quite incorrigible. Irving, I take it, is the crowd? Oh, but you mustn't say I said so. Henry's terribly sensitive about the way he walks. And Mama? Mr. Stoker, our stage manager and general secretary. He's so very protective of us that I often call him Mama. May I ask, what is your business with Mama and the crowd? Our business is with Sir Arthur Sullivan, not with Sir Henry. Oh, you mustn't call him Sir Henry yet. It's another two months until Queen Victoria lays sword to shoulder. Oh, think of it. The, the first of our profession. Of course, Mama already calls him Sir. He's so fond of titles, but it drives Henry quite wild. I know it's ridiculous, but some thespians are so superstitious. And how goes Macbeth? Ah! Oh! Oh! No! You said it quickly! You must perform the antidote! First, turn around three times. One. Hurry! Two. Three. Uh, now say something awful. Something vile. Uh, say... Say... Well, uh, good! Good! Now spit! Huh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Dear. Dear Watson. You must never say that name whilst inside a theatre. Or ever, for that matter. It's cursed, you know. But yes, we are attempting to call, recall what we did last time. Revivals are so trying. 